How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to my Corporal Beast in-depth solo guide for Legacy. So let's jump right in. Uh, first off, Corporal Beast is level 785, has 10,000 life points, attacks with magic and melee, has max set of 475 with magic and 225 with melee. So that's why we're going to be praying mage. It is weak to nothing, but it also has a weak, it has a resistance to everything except for spears, so you're going to want to use a spear. Uh, now, the requirements, you've got the Spirit of the Summer quest, and then the Summer's End quest, and that is all. Uh, now, we've got a ton of recommendations, and quick disclaimer, you can try it out with these stats, give it a shot, but uh, you kind of need these stats to be able to solo the Corp Beast. Um, and if you don't really have all these requirements, not to worry, if you go on a team of 2 or 3, it gets exponentially easier, uh, so probably with stats in the 70s, you could probably get a duo kill or two. Uh, so yeah, that's just my quick disclaimer. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna want 90 attack, defense, strength, and magic. Even if you're not using magic, um, your magic level increases your magic defense as well. So you're gonna want that high as well. Um, you're gonna want ancient curses with 95 plus prayer, and you're also gonna want overloads, which is 91 plus herblore, uh, and that's 91 with a boost. Uh, without a boost, it's 96. Uh, now, the types of attacks. The Corp has a Stomp attack, which will do between 300 and 525 damage plus. Uh, basically, don't get stomped. It's really, really easy to avoid. Just don't walk underneath the Corp, and he, the Corp will not stomp you. Next, there's a Magic Single attack that can do up to 425 damage. A Magic Multi attack, which will do about 40 times 6 damage, where it basically just hits you a ton of times. Um, and then there's also a Melee attack, as I previously mentioned, that can do 225 damage. Now, the last attack is the Nom 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 attack. Basically, it eats a summoning familiar, so you can't really bring a familiar into the room, or the corp will just chow down on it. Uh, now, the Dark Energy Core. Uh, the core will arrive at some point during the kill, uh, between 20 or 80% life points, and its hits on you will heal the corp 1 to 1 ratio, and he attacks very, very quickly. Uh, so basically, the core must be dodged, and I'm going to show you how to dodge the core right now. Uh, so I got pretty lucky with the core of this kill. Sometimes he comes out a lot sooner than that. But yeah, I'm just going to be running lines around the corp like this, and you want to make sure that you're not running underneath the core. You want to sort of go around, uh, because if you run under the core beast, you get stomped, and you can basically one hit yourself like that. <laughs> so it's not a very nice, not a very nice thing. Next, we've got the method. So unless you use a spear, you'll only deal half damage. Uh, so there's an up and down grade list with gear. Um, and I spelled spear wrong. I'm, I'm beautiful. Uh, but basically a chaotic spear is best. Then you've got your Vesta spear, which is kind of expensive. Zami spear, you've got your Drygores and Ascensions, and then Death Lotus darts, which I strongly, strongly, strongly don't recommend. Uh, but for this guide, I will be using a Zamorakian spear. Now for armor, I would strongly recommend using port gear. You can buy it off the GE. If you're mailing, which is what I recommend, you're going to want a Tetsu plate body and plate legs with a Sea Singer's hood. Um, and the other combat styles are there as well. Uh, now, for non-ports armor, you can either use the level 90 power armor, if you've got the money for that, or net sets, as in Torva, Pernix, and Virtus. Um, and there's an up-down grade list. And as you'd expect, use the most protective boots and gloves you can. Now, inventory setup. You're going to want your food of choice. Uh, that could be sharks, rocktails, or rocktail soup. I wouldn't go much lower than shark, though. Uh, you're going to want your games necklace. That's your telly in and your telly out if you need it. And also your potions, so that's probably your overload, your prayer renewal, and one to two uh, super restore potions. And you're going to want to use restore potions over prayer potions because the core can lower your summoning points. And once your summoning points get to zero, he'll lower your health instead of your summoning points. So you want to make sure you keep your summoning points up. Okay, so now into special attacks. You're going to want to use a special attack that will lower the defense of the Corporal Beast. Uh, so your two options really are either a Stadius Warhammer, which is extremely expensive, but if you've got money for it, you may as well. Or other than that, you can use a Bando's Godsword, which is at the moment about 2.5 mil, so it's relatively affordable. And you're going to want to spec right at the start of the kill. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to get there. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to show you how to get there. Don't worry about the lag. That is on my end, not on your internet's end. <laughs> I'm just exporting something right now. So, how to get there? You're gonna click on your game's necklace, you're gonna make sure you're fully geared up and everything, and then you're gonna click on Corporal Beast. Now, don't pay too much attention to my gear. I have everything, everything I have on is correct, but I'm also missing some things, i.e. a Zamorakian spear. A uh, reason for that is I just sold my 500 mil drop tab, and some items that I was wearing were part of that. So that's why I've got 508 mil and I'm ecstatic about that. Uh, but anyway, guys, um, this is how to get there. So you just sort of run east from where you get teleported to. You get a giant lag spike because of your recorder. <laughs> and then you continue running here. And we are almost there. Uh, so yeah, what am I missing? I don't have my Ceridomans Whisper anymore and my Zambi Spear is gone as well. <laughs> but don't worry about that. I, I've recorded everything else like a, a couple hours ago, so it's all good uh, for the rest of the guy. Don't even worry. Uh, so there are people in there, but this is the corp room. That's it. You made it. You did the thing. Uh, and that's it. And these guys are level 127 and 133. 
And yeah, they're soloing. Is that Carol's? It looks like Carol's and Bando. So yeah, well, as I said, in a duo, you can use a lot lower tier gear if you need to. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's how to get there. Now, what happens if I die? Uh, so, if you die at the Corp, you will not get a grave at the Corpies, but don't panic and you'll make it back in time. So I actually died. Um, I hit some recorder leg and I ended up dying. So I'm going to show you guys what to do when you die right about now. <laughs> Lol. Perfect. So now we're going to get into the if you die segment of this video. If you die, what you want to do is you want to hurriedly um, protect your games necklace. Why, you might ask? Um, because if you protect your games necklace, any minute now game, please don't lag me right now. Um, if you protect your games necklace, it just makes it a little faster to get back. So you're going to put on the gear you have, including your games necklace. Grab a little bit of food and don't panic. Now, you don't, you'll see I don't have a grave timer. So some people tend to freak out because of that. Don't freak out because of that. Don't panic. You will make it back in time if you do not panic. <laughs> so as you can see, that only took about 10 seconds. I'm now ready to run back to the corp. And <laughs> you basically sprint back. So this is the if you die sec section. And no, I did not mean to die, but it just kind of happened that way. I kind of wanted to risk it. But yeah. This is what happens if you die at the corp. I'm really freaking laggy though, so that causes some problems. Should be okay. You're going to click your quick prayers, of course. Uh, you won't run out of prayer points before you get there. And you're going to hurry up and get back quick because obviously you don't have a grave. All your shit's just sitting there. So <laughs> you want to be pretty careful. But you will get your shit back. Don't even worry about it. Only time you don't get your shit back is if the corpse spawns or runs on top of all your shit. Um, but as you can see, I'm just, I'm here, I'm grabbing all my shit back. And the corpse hit points will be reset. So, rage fire boots, restores, renewals, overloads, bones, that is everything. Bury my own bones and teleport out. And that is all. And now it's time for a full kill from start to finish. Uh, so I'm using the Zami Spear, and I'm going to talk you guys through the entire kill, talk about dodging the core and some other strategies you can use, and also talk about the use of special attacks. Okay guys, I'm here, and as you can see, I've upgraded a little bit to Rocktail Soup. I had a bunch in my bank that I made myself from my port, and I figured I may as well actually um, just upgrade my food a little bit, because I lag considerably because of my recorder, and it kind of makes it a little bit harder, so I figured to counteract that recorder lag, um, I'm going to upgrade my food slightly. But yeah, you should be, with enough practice, fine to do with sharks or rocktails, something like that. Um, and yeah, so what you're going to do, make sure your scrimshaw is on, your aura is on, all that stuff is on. And yeah, you're going to poot up, pull out your BGS, and get ready to spec. Uh, so, put on your quick prayers. As you can see, my quick prayers are as follows. So, turmoil and mage prey and all that stuff. So, we're going to go in and we are going to spec with the BGS, and hopefully it's a nice hit. 116 is not a nice hit, but it should be fine. So at this point, you just kind of sit here and attack the corp, and that's about it. And hopefully you get dim hits though. Um, and you should be able to hit pretty high. The highest I've hit was a 400, no, 585, uh, which is pretty ridiculous, I'll be honest. Um, that's a pretty nice hit. Yeah, the corp has a lot of HP, so you just want to make sure you're eating at an appropriate time. It doesn't really matter what your hit points are at. Uh, what I mean by that is like you can eat at any point you could I could be at full health right now I'm pretty comfortable with this boss, so I'm just Eating whenever my hit points sort of dip below that that 600 mark so as you can see there was a 527 you can hit pretty pretty hard um, With the Zami spear obviously I'm using a Zami spear as well, which was not one of the preferred methods you could use a um, One of the revenant spears it's Vesta spear or you could even use a chaotic spear. That's even better uh, but yeah, I, I always like to use like sort of, I'm not going to say the worst requirements, but I always like to use lower requirements uh, than what I say are the best because obviously with the best requirements, shit's easy. You don't miss it all with a chaotic spear. Uh, but yeah, so that's why I'm using the Zami spear for this portion. So as you can see, the core hasn't spawned yet, so you just kind of chill out. And yeah, uh, when the core comes, there are two ways to dodge it. You can either run between two squares, but I strongly don't recommend doing that. And the reason for that, and why that differs 576, uh, why that different, why that differs from EOC, um, is because with with the core and the attack interval of the Zami spear, you can't attack every two squares you run. Uh, you actually, you just can't attack every two squares you run. Uh, so that's why I recommend just running a circle or a semicircle around the corp uh, while dodging the core. Uh, but as you see, the core isn't out yet. Sometimes the core will spawn right at the start of the kill, and you can either choose to just <laughs> leave and 
go out of the room and then come back in or just stick with it it's it's pretty pretty open up to you and there's the core uh, so I got pretty lucky with the core of this kill sometimes it comes out a lot sooner than that but yeah I'm just gonna be running lines around the corp like this and you want to make sure that you're not running underneath the core you want to sort of go around uh, because if you run under the core beast you get stomped and you can basically one hit yourself like that <laughs> so it's not a very nice not a very nice thing so as you can see I ran two squares and it wasn't enough to attack see two squares and I can't attack yet two squares can not attack and then I can attack so I find it more efficient just to do it this way and the corp hit me there once he hit me for 55 something like that the real dangerous part about the core is the attack speed. He can wreck you really, really quickly. And then the other really dangerous thing with the core is he obviously heals the corp with his hits. And for ways of dealing with the core, there aren't really any great ones for soloing. You can stun him with Emerald Bolts E, but you need to get an Emerald Bolt spec, so I don't recommend doing that. You can spec him with a Zami Spear. Um, it will stun him for about three seconds, so that's not really worth doing. And then your last real option is you can just kill the core, but then he spawns again in about two seconds. But as you can see, we've got plenty of food left. Like, I, I would have survived that kill with sharks. I just wanted to make sure I'd get it. Uh, and there is your Corporal Beast kill. Uh, loot was Law Runes and Green Charms, which is pretty, pretty terrible, I think. We'll do a little price check. Uh, but yeah, there was your kill with the Zami Spear. 77k, hashtag bank. Um... <laughs> So yeah guys, anyways, on to the loot and the remainder of the guide. So yeah, hopefully you found that sort of talk through kill walkthrough thing helpful. Peace. Uh, now for the rewards, uh, you can get Ancient Sigils priced from 3 to 53 mil. Uh, it drops 13 charms at a time, 40% blue and 20% crimson, which is pretty amazing. You can get 2,000 cannonballs, which is worth about 800k. And you can get 175 Onyx Bolts E, which is worth about 1.5 mil. Uh, the other drop you can get is a Holy Elixir, which is about 950k. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. As always, if you have any additional questions of any kind, let me know in the comments and I'll reply to them ASAP. And as always, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Peace! DDS go! DDS go! BGS go! Finish him! Finish the job! Yes! DDS, go! Woo! Haha! <laughs> and that's a whip PK, whip dragon, simi, rune plate. Good loot, good loot as well. Hoo hoo! Glory, very good fight, man. If you're watching this, he knew me. He was like, "Hey, you're a YouTuber, right?" And it's like, "Hell yeah!" Awesome kill, guys. Awesome freaking mother flipping, double dipping, slipping, flipping kill. Oh hell no!